Today I'm sharing another lucid dream story. This lucid dream story brought me a whole new technique for stabilizing my dreams. Hey guys, welcome back to Tiffero. It's me Matt here. And today I'm bringing you another lucid dream story since you guys have been requesting them. This actually happened last night before I recorded this batch of videos. And in that dream, I learned a new technique for stabilizing my dreams and it worked really well. So, let's get started. The dream started out, I was in a house, which was my friend's house, I was there with my friend, and we were just hanging out, and we were just chatting away, and I had to go back to my house to get something, or to do something there, I can't remember specifically. So I left his house, which, by the way, wasn't where his actual house was, and this was actually back in England, except my friend was living in a different house adjacent to mine, from the house that I was actually in in the dream, but I didn't really notice that at the time. This was just a regular dream. I wasn't lucid at this point. And so I left the house, I headed back to mine, I went back to mine, I did whatever I needed to do, you know, I got something or, uh, you know, I ate some food or whatever. After that, I left my house, I come out and I'm walking towards his house and right as I'm walking towards, a car pulls up and someone gets out. And for whatever reason, I didn't know who this person was, but I felt like because this person was there, I wasn't able to go back to his house. And so I was just like, okay, I can't go there. I'll just go on a walk. So I turned off to the right. Basically, I was in this close, if you know, houses all around. And there was a way out that I used to sometimes go when I was taking a walk. And I headed out that direction. And there was always like this little field, um, small Field, uh, not even a field really, it's just a patch of grass um, with houses on the other side. Um, and when I looked at that area, it actually was a massive field in my dream. And that kind of set off alarm bells. I was like, wait, this doesn't look right, something's not right. Oh right, I'm dreaming, aren't I? And so I instantly became lucid, it just looked too absurd to me to be real. And at that point, I'm like, okay, great, I'm lucid. And then I remembered that recent lucid dream that I had where I was pulling grass up out of the ground and using that to stabilize the dream when I was you know, playing with it in my hand. So I decided to do that. You know, I was in a big field now, so there's plenty of grass around. So I reached down, I pull up a couple of clumps of grass in both hands and I'm just breaking them apart in my hands. I'm getting up and moving about. Now the thing is, I probably should have just picked up one clump of grass and broken that apart with both hands. Because when I did it, with, when I picked up two, on each hand, I wasn't really able to break it apart much. Um, I was more just moving it in my hands. And so it wasn't really working for stabilizing the dream very well. The dream stayed like okay in terms of clarity and stability. Like it was relatively clear, but it wasn't that clear. And I could tell that this wasn't gonna keep it stable. So I decided to keep walking anyway and just go with it because I didn't really have any better method to use, you know, uh, I just couldn't think of most of the other methods at the time and that was just the best method that I could remember. So I would start walking through the field and then I turn and I could see like this fence like um, like you have around a basketball court or something like that sometimes and through that fence was another field and I remember in the far corner was a well and this field looked like no field I'd ever seen before and yet it reminded me of a field that is near my house here in Poland. And instantly the field began to look more like that field, um, aside from the well in the corner, which isn't there. Um, and so I'm looking at this field and I'm like, oh cool, it's that field that's near my house here. I'll go and I'll explore the field. So I start walking towards the field and towards the fence. And as I get close to it, everything starts to get really, really blurry. But I realized something. I noticed I wasn't holding grass in my hands anymore. I was holding my glasses. I was holding them like down, you know, like I'd just taken them off to clean them or something. And I was like, hey, well, of course everything's blurry when I'm not wearing my glasses, because without my glasses, I can barely see anything. Like I can barely make out the camera and it's, you know, two feet in front of me. Um, so I thought, okay, I'll put my glasses on and see what happens. So I put them on. And as soon as I put them on, everything was crystal clear. And the dream was just completely stable again. And I was like, hold on, did I really just do that? Did I really just completely make it instantly fully stable just by doing that one thing? Because for me, stabilization techniques don't really work like that. Like they gradually make it more stable. 
Um, I've never really found anything that made it that crystal clear that quickly. So I was like, okay, I need to try this again. Next time it destabilizes, I need to try putting my glasses on again. So I kind of forgot about that and I started walking into the field. There was now no fence in the way um, and I'm in the field and there were people walking around and like playing some sports. I'm not sure what they were playing, maybe football or something, but it was kind of like not like an actual game, it was more like, you know, people just messing around, kicking a ball about, chatting. Um, and someone came up to me, and I was trying to have a conversation with them. But, as is often the case in my lucid dreams, because I know that I'm not speaking to real people, and I'm just speaking to dream characters, they kind of don't hold conversation very well. So that was the case this time, and the person wasn't really responding very positively, they won't really say much at all. So I decided to adopt the belief, and this is something that I'm also releasing a video about this week, um, belief morphing in lucid dreams. Uh, you may or may not have seen that already, or it may be coming out later this week, so stay tuned for that, I guess. Um, anyway, so I tried to adopt the belief that this was an actual real person that I was speaking to, so they perhaps, you know, be a bit more responsive. And they did start responding um, but like after a little bit of the conversation, I kind of realized that I didn't really have any reason to chat with this dream character. So I decided I would instead turn around and explore. So now that I've flipped around, I look around and I realize I'm in what looks almost like a school gym in like a basketball court. And people are playing basketball. And so I walk around and I look and I'm kind of watching the game and what people are doing. And once again, the dream starts to destabilize. It gets really blurry. But there's a problem, because I don't have a pair of glasses in my hand anymore. So I just put my hands down and I imagine that I've got a pair of glasses there and I just bring it up to my face and sure enough I had a pair of glasses and I put them on and everything became clear again. So now I have discovered yet another stabilisation technique that actually works really well for me and it's great because it's something that I expect to work because I'm short sighted so I expect if I'm not wearing my glasses it's going to be blurry. I have that association in my mind of blurriness being when I have my glasses off. So it's actually an amazing technique for me and I'm going to keep using this. I think this is probably going to be the most uh, powerful stabilization technique for me. And after that I kind of just explored the basketball court, watched the game for a little bit and I don't really remember when I woke up. I just remember that it was you know maybe a couple minutes, two, three minutes after that. Um, I don't really remember what I did after that. I was just kind of watching the game, walking around and that. Nothing too exciting. But yeah, that was my dream. And as soon as I woke up, I wrote it down because I thought, you know, I've learned a new technique here. And, you know, this is a dream that I want to write down in detail because I want to actually make a video about it. So I did use quite a bit of detail rather than just, you know, brief notes like I normally do. And yeah, that's my dream. And that's my new technique, which either you've already seen a video about or one will be coming out. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you're looking to have lucid dreams like me, then you should definitely check out the course that I've made. I made a course to make it easier for people because a lot of people come to my channel and say they're trying to lucid dream but they're struggling, they don't know how to do it, you know, steps aren't working, whatever. And so what I wanted to do was make a course that basically holds your hand through the whole process, shows you step by step what you need to do to have a lucid dream, to learn dream control and all of that and to get you to that stage where you can actually do the things that you want to do in a lucid dream. So I made that course, it's got 14 different lessons, it's also got these challenge lessons inside it where basically you actually get challenged on your abilities, and there's a couple of bonus tracks like affirmations and a relaxation track and so on. So if that sounds interesting to you and you actually want to know more about it, what it actually really entails, then check out the link up there. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to ensure I can keep making these videos, then be sure to check out my Patreon page and find out how you can support the channel. If you want to keep watching, pick one of the two videos on screen and I will see you soon. Take care.